What's up dudes and dudes in the air now? My name's Seth and we are back again for some more Maple Story 2. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. But unfortunately, we got some sad news to talk about, folks. Yup, it's here. This is going to be the final episode of our Maple Story series. And I'm going to tell you why in today's episode, as well as a bunch of tips and things that I ended up discovering off camera, because I actually found some time to play this on my off time. And I wanted to let you know about a couple things. So first and foremost, about the uh, questing system and stuff like that. Turns out that it's not nearly as confusing as I had thought that it was because if you just go to the map, I completely forgot that when you go to the tutorial, it tells you, click on this icon here and it'll actually show us all of the main points of interest and all the quests that we're supposed to be doing. So I could have easily done that on our Rune Blade character and maybe been able to actually continue our progression. But uh, then I wanted to swap over to another character. I went over to the Striker character and unfortunately I'll admit, it wasn't really that exciting, now was it? You know, it, it's a cool character, has a very nice intro and everything like that, but the fact of the matter is that I wasn't really that interested in its playstyle because it seemed to be very similar to the Rune Blader, just kind of go in and beat everything up, which is kind of what this game is in general, but I don't really care for fighting characters. There's just something about it, right? And so because of that, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna start a new character off camera. We're actually playing as the beginner class right now. And then I was gonna go into the sub pass for the Berserker. And I wanted to kind of surprise you all with that and just, you know, hey, here we go. We're gonna be playing as the two-handed swordsman character because that's probably what I'm going to main when this game comes out on the North American server. And that's the thing too, is this game is still gonna come out on the North American server, who knows when, but when it does, of course I'm gonna start a full on series about it again. And I think it'll be really, really nice too, uh, like really, really cool because we'll all get to actually play it together as opposed to right now, it's very, very difficult to get onto the uh, Korean server and because of it, you know, not much of us can play together and thus people end up losing interest in the whole idea that is this game, right? Myself included, because I like playing with people and playing with fans and playing with the community. That's kind of a very strong point that I have on my channel, like with my Trove series, that I would love to end up doing in a game like this. But again, as I said uh, in another episode, I'm not that personally invested into this game right now because we're on the Korean server and let me tell you, everything's gonna end up getting reset just because we're gonna swap over to the North American servers. But besides that, if you actually go to the Maple Story website right now, they are talking about this month, they're gonna reset everything. And because of that, you know, it kind of just made me think, okay, I'm gonna take that as a sign. We're, we're supposed to cancel this series and just wait for it to end up releasing, right? So I just wanted to be clear about all that, folks. Let you all know that I do actually really enjoy this game. When it comes out in North America, it of course is going to be a free to play game with, as you can see, a pretty good cash shop. I mean, maybe they'll have like double XP boosters and all of that stuff, but honestly speaking, who cares, whatever. And I did take a look at the wiki, headbutt. And I found out that uh, like I was looking at and researching the grinding zones and stuff like that. And it's a pretty good wiki, man. Like, it tells you a lot of the stuff on there very, very well. And as much as I really wanted to try out the Berserker class, honestly speaking, I don't know, I don't know how to get it. Because the wiki doesn't seem to actually say anything about uh, going into a subclass, you know? Maybe there secretly is a way to do it on the webpage, but honestly speaking, I didn't find it. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, too, is... I think it might actually be at level 25, if not 50, before we can actually swap over to a subclass. Maybe, don't take my word for that though, I, I could be dead wrong about it. I'm just saying that I think it's quite a grind before we can actually do it, and because of that, you know, I'm, 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 not, really, I'm not really committed enough to uh, playing this game for like hours on and off camera to try and end up finding out how to play as a two-handed character that for all intents and purposes is probably just gonna end up being the exact same style of gameplay. Now, he looks really, really cool, and I would recommend that you actually check out the uh, Korean website 
for the class trailers or even just find them on YouTube. I think they're on YouTube because seriously, the other characters in this game look so cool. Now, the Rune Blader definitely looks awesome for sure, but there's a character in this game for everybody. Even the Archer character, I've actually seen somebody playing as it and oh man, he's cool and powerful. They have another character that uses a Gatling gun and it's just... Like, I really, really can't wait for this game to come out in North America where I can start investing my time into it, playing it, and also playing it with all of you. I think that would be so cool, man. Like, that would be so beautiful for all of us to just raid an area together, you know? But anyways, folks, just wanted to come clean, let you all know firsthand what's going on because it's been a couple weeks since we ended up having another episode. And yeah, we're canceling the series. Sorry to say I've had my fun with it, but everything's getting reset anyway, so now's the time to move on. Thanks for watching though, folks. Hope you enjoyed the series up to this point. Hope you're gonna enjoy the game when it comes out in North America, probably 50 zillion years. The fact that they're resetting everything though tells me that the Korean servers are bumping up to, I don't know if it's open beta, maybe it's already open beta and it's coming to a launch. I don't really think so, but a reset usually means that they're moving up to the next tier in development. So. Hopefully that means we'll see a North American release or at least a release date sometime in 2017 But honestly speaking, I don't know this game actually has already been out since July 2015 and that's not including like alpha players and stuff like that So yeah, keep that in mind folks either way. Thanks so much for watching Hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to like share favorite and subscribe for more daily content Sign on and stay epic everybody Only